What's a discontinued food or beverage item you wish with all your heart would return? Double Decker Taco. All the ingredients are still there. Just sell it to me. Also, Pintos and Cheese. Mexamelt. Tostada. Mexican Pizza. They literally removed everything I ate there. I haven't been back in a very long time. Sour Altoids. I love them so much. Tangerine in particular. The original Butterfinger recipe before it was improved. Still can't wrap my head around this one. Everyone I talk to about it has said they'll never buy it again. It was one of the best candy bars. Philadelphia Cheesecake Bars. They were my luxury amongst all of the ramen and instant mac and cheese in college. Those things are probably responsible for at least 10 pounds of my weight gain my freshman year of college. I fucking love them. I had way too much money in my dining account because I went home most weekends. And so I would buy that shit all the time. So good. Lifesavers Cream Savers I think they were called. Yes they had strawberries and cream and peaches and cream. I think. But they also had a chocolate and caramel one that was the best. Jolt Cola. It was before its time. I think it was taken off the market for being too caffeinated. And then the energy drink craze began. Wrong place. Wrong time that's all. All the sugar and twice the caffeine. I'd kill for Butterfinger BBS. No. Bites are not the same. And the Simpsons commercials that came with them nothing like seeing a man strangle his son over candy. Shark Bites Fruit Snacks by Betty Crocker. The white ones were the best a whole different consistency of fruit snack. Caramel Apple Impanadas AMD Potato Burritos from Taco Bell. God bless those delicious fried pockets of apple flavored napalm. Snapple Elements Drinks. The Rain One in particular. Edit, I had no idea people were so nostalgic about these drinks. I've been really enjoying reading everyone's memories about them. Hopefully the rumors are true and Snapple is bringing them back next year. This is the one I look for every time this question gets asked. I freaking love Drain. It was my favorite drink aside from actual water. I have even emailed Snapple multiple times about it. Here is one of their responses. Which isn't much but the best I ever got. The 31st of January. 2017. Hello Atrim. Thank you for showing your passion for Snapple Elements Rain. For some time now. The elements have been in a deep slumber. No one really knows if they will reappear. However, I'll certainly let my teams know you want to wake the elements and make it rain. Thanks for being a fan of Snapple. Have a rainy, but good, day. Sincerely, Nick. Consumer Relations. McDonald's Snack Wrap. Edit, does this call for a Twitter campaign? Snack Wrap back. I don't get why a company saw me throwing money at them and thought, no no. This isn't for us. I just wish they'd announce their ending thing so you could hop in and get it one last time. Edit, I'm seeing a lot of people mentioning grocery items. I was thinking fast food items. But it's pretty fascinating seeing your very good reasons why discontinuations are not advertised. I know a company that did this and they had to keep putting off the termination because they'd make the announcement. Buyers would stock up. They'd have to keep making more to fill the orders. Orders would dry up. They'd make the announcement. Repeat. Dunkaroos, specifically with the rainbow sprinkles icing. I've seen these by 7-Eleven checkouts. Not sure if it's discontinued. But Bubble Yum brand flavors besides original. Bubble Yum was my favorite as a kid. Apparently they used to be wild strawberry, cherry, and apple flavors too but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Cotton candy was my favorite growing up. Edit. Thanks for telling me about all your favorite flavors. It drove my sweet tooth insane. Picking up a pack of bubble yum at the store next time I go just for old times sake. Grape was good. The 90s version of Kudos bars. Particularly the fudge ones. I love the M and MS ones. This'll be a weird one. Back in 2008. Walmart sold a coffee and hot cocoa brand that sold in a self-heating can. Turn it over. Pull a tab on the bottom and shake. Then set it upright. Two minutes later. Hot beverage that tasted pretty damn good. It only lasted a few months though. I miss that. It got me through a tough winter. Oh god. My mom got me one of those as a kid. I didn't realize what it was and I tried heating it up when she was at work blew up the microwave. I called her at work. She put her phone down. 
and all I could hear was her screaming in the background lol. Cadbury chocolate bars using the formula sizes from 15 years ago. The current range is like sweet, liquefied, cardboard and you pay twice as much for half the amount. Sometimes when I'm in the sweetie section of the supermarket I get all misty eyed about the Cadbury that was as I slowly wheel past the current range. I know it sounds like a conspiracy but I'm convinced that's why there's a subtle change to their tagline. Way back when it used to be there's a glass and a half in every one meaning each Cadbury bar had a glass and a half of full cream milk in it. But now all their ads are about people being nice with a tagline there's a glass and a half in everyone. Note the lack of space on the last word. Everyone means every single one. Everyone means everybody. They still want you to believe that they are using the same formula but took away the space they change the meaning. My grandmother would say I liked it better when Coke actually had cocaine in it. How old are you and your grandma? They stopped serving it with cocaine in 1903. Jello pudding pops. Nothing was better than the thin outer ice layer. The old Caprice panini at Panera Bread. It was fresh tomatoes. Sundry tomatoes. Fresh moz and fresh basil pressed on ciabatta. The new version has some weird beans spread and it's so bad. Edit, got my first award ever for this comment, three glad people agree Panera needs to bring back so much you guys made my night. Oreo Cookesters. God I miss them so much. I read through this whole thread for this. They're the closest thing I ever found to my mom's homemade Oreos. So when I was away at college, I always had them. They're giving them a reboot. But I'm afraid they'll be different somehow. Green Skittles being lime flavor and not green apple used to love the green Skittles but green apple is just not as good. Edit, just found out they are bringing back the lime flavor this year. Vinetta. The fanciest ice cream known to man. Still made in UK. Missing us. Pizzeria chips made by Keebler. Those were the bomb in the 90s. Fruitopia. Update, as 95% of the comments have stated. It is still available at McDonald's and in Canada. I get it. People. We got a Fruitopia vending machine at my elementary school when I was in 5th grade. I imagine the teachers were all against it. And then after the 800th spill. The machine was never stocked again lol. Mexican pizza at Taco Bell for sure. I'm convinced if they brought it back and rebranded it as crispy tosta de melt it would be a hit. I think people didn't try it because the pizza in the name was confusing but damn it was delicious. McDonald's fried apple pies. If you ever find yourself in Hawaii, make sure to visit McDonald's. They still deep fry them there. EL fudge double fudge cookies, chocolate cookie, chocolate filling. Edit, to be clear I'm not talking about the double stuffed filling with the vanilla cookies. But the double fudge cookies where both cookie and filling were chocolate. Original Watcher McCallit. Cinnamon Melt from McDonald's. Ecto Cooler. Honey Nut Clusters Cereal. Chocolate Marshmallow Matty Cereal. Cheesy Fiesta Potatoes at Taco Bell. Maybe they are back now IDK. Black Cherry Milkshakes at Burger King. Salted Caramel Pretzel Milkshake at Steak and Shake. Edie's Peanut Butter Cookie Dough Ice Cream. I was gonna say Surge too. But apparently that just came back. Surge. And X200B. Edit. Wow thanks everybody. An award even. Man. And as far as them being back in stores. I currently work in a Coca Cola warehouse and right as I started working there it was discontinued all over again. There was this ancient soda called OK Soda that was test released in certain markets in the 90s. I got to try some in a focus group and I would love to try it again. Link. HTTPS colon slash slash. EN. Wikipedia. Org Wiki Ox Soda. Edit. Whoa. My first gold for OK Soda that feels. OK. Yes. My friends and I used to call their hotline after school. French Toast Crunch. They brought it back for a few months a number of years ago and I still check the cereal aisle every time I'm at the grocery store. It's available in Canada and at Walmart and the US. KFC Potato Wedges. They were the best and I have no idea why they were discontinued. They were better than the chicken emo. Those dipped in a side of brown gravy. Mind blowing. PB crisps. Arby's potato cakes. And loaded potato bites. Dutch apple pop tarts. 
I am so glad someone mentioned those because I really was beginning to think I'd made them up. Nobody remembers those. Snapple's Elements drinks from the 90s. I was addicted to rain and fire. Air. Fire. And rain Snapple Elements are scheduled in market for the 1st of February 2022. Haven't gotten to taste any samples yet. Taco Bell's Double Decker Taco. That was always my fave. But then they discontinued it for their new revamped menu. I miss it. Soap Green Tea. I lived on it. Loved it so much. And I hate that it isn't around anymore. Best green tea to me. Grilled stuffed burrito from Taco Bell. And better cheddars. The GSB was the best thing the Bell had going for it and for some reason they had to take it off their menu. Better cheddars are the only cheese cracker aside from cheese it's I'll eat but BCs aren't available anymore. LOL I bitch about grilled stuffed burritos every time I have Taco Bell. I miss them as well. McDonald's deep fried cherry pie. Put a smile on my face three foot wide. Tastes so good. Make a grown man cry. Large boxes of O cereal. Mexamelt. Edit, I've tried the cheesy roll up at beef. But without pico it's not the same. The plain tomatoes don't cut it. Taco Bell really screwed up. Orange Julius. One can frozen odge concentrate. One sea milk. Two teaspoons vanilla. One stroke two sea sugar or substitute. Splendor works perfectly. One and a half sea ice. Blend milk and vanilla. Then blend in sugar. Odge. And ice one at a time in that order. Comes out really really good. Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. Why? Big New Yorker from Pizza Hut. Each slice was the equivalent of a quarter pound burger and I miss it. Waffle crisp. Edit. I have apparently found my people I will have to look for it now that I know it's out there somewhere. Chicken little sandwiches from KFC. Also bring back their potato wedges. And Wendy's fried chicken. Yes chicken little sandwiches from KFC. I think about them at least once a month. McDonaldland cookies. Peanut butter Twix. PB crisps. Gatorade gum. Oh wow. Flashback. This shit was delicious for about 15 seconds. Then quickly turned into flavorless putty. Rice Krispies treat cereal. Spicy McChickens at McDonald's. I'm talking about the red breaded. Spicy chicken sandwich, which I guess is more of a common thing further down in the us. But I loved them because I swear the chicken was thicker. And it was actually crispy. Not like the soggy, flappy thing the McChicken is. McDonald's bacon egg and cheese bagel. Or steak egg and cheese bagel. Best hangover food ever. So greasy the white paper turned clear. I think it's a regional thing I found them in a Kansas McDonald's a few years back. Carnation Instant Breakfast Bars. Pretty sure the food stayed the same. But I want cooler Arch Doritos back. Oh 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 this made me think about when Doritos had their 3D chips those were good. Jello 123 Dessert Mix. Vault Soda. Welch's Strawberry and Grape Soda. Those peppery wiggly ass chicken tenders from Burger King from back in the day. Sunshine lemon coolers. Basically vanilla wafers with lemon flavored powdered sugar on them. Saru good. Bug juice. Speedway gas stations has it actually. Ecto cooler. Taco Bell's seven layer burrito. Savior of vegetarians everywhere. It's been my go to since 1993 and it's gone now. All of my gotos at Taco Bell, not all veg, are gone. I will get a hanker in for Taco Bell and then get there and realize I don't have an order there anymore. Jolly Ranchers had other flavors, the main one I remember is peach. But it was a whole other variety pack. My grandma used to get them when we visited. They were great. Dollar General had peach Jolly Ranchers this summer. The fruity bash mix is lemon, peach, strawberry, pineapple, and orange. There's a store locator at https colon slash slash www.hersheyland.com products Jolly Rancher Fruity Bash Hard Candy 13 Oz Bag. HTML. Sugar in soft drinks. My country implemented a sugar tax so every soft drink, except classic Coca-Cola, now has aspartame in it, which gives me horrendous headaches. So, 
I can no longer drink anything other than classic Coca-Cola if I'm buying a soft drink Dr. Pepper, Tango, Sprite, 7-Up, Lipton, Fanta, all dead to me now. I am so sorry how horrible. What country is that? Here in the US we all use corn syrup sweeteners. Well it's okay. I prefer the real sugar stuff I had in other countries or the throwback MTG made with cane sugar. Rolled gold honey mustard pretzels. Haven't been able to find a similar sweet to mustard to pretzel ratio since they've been discontinued. Most brands I've tried are sickly sweet. Too strongly aromatic. Add, too much, onion flavoring. Or other chunks rather than rods or twists. Haven't found anything close to what I'm looking for. Anyone remember Yogas? Ninja Turtles Pies. Taco Bell Chili Cheese Burrito. Grilled Stuffed Burrito. The original Count Chocula. The new stuff is made with corn puffs and is nothing like the good stuff. The original was like chocolate Lucky Charms. Sad that Gen Z will never know what it was like. Edit, it was also a lot more chocolate. It used to turn your milk brown like choco milk. Now it barely turns it gray. Taco Bell Mexican Pizza. 3D Doritos. This is what I was thinking the new ones have the nastiest texture and the flavor is different too. Plus the shape isn't quite the same either been craving 3D Doritos for a few years now. Alphabet Cereal. Supplantation. Fruitopia. Still available in Canada. Real strawberries. You know when they had a taste rather than just looking red inside. Hershey's Cookies and Mint Chocolate Bars. My absolute favorite as a kid. Orville's Pour Over Cheddar Popcorn. The Ben and Jerry's Flavor White Russian. Last had it late 80s early 90s. An oatmeal cookie, that one was circa 2006 when I worked as a cashier and a customer bought two and gave me one saying how happy he was they started selling it again. Real size Cadbury creme eggs, not these shrinking eggs they've been trying to pass off on us the past several years. Vault soda. That was my childhood. And an absolute favorite. I always had a case in the fridge and even all my friends loved it. The gingerbread latte. That shit slapped. Edit, for some reason I thought this was posted on our Starbucks. My answer still stands. I want my salted caramel mochas back. And s'mores for pusiness. Angry Whopper. Still have it in Australia. Doctor. Slice. Vinetta. It was so good. They still have Vinetta in the UK. Alice Return was announced in January 2021. But I've never seen it anywhere. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Good humor. Commas and products cakes vanilla Vinetta frozen dairy dessert cake. HTML. 40 years ago there was a frozen pouch of food called boil in bags. I really miss the chicken alarking. Can't help it. Don't hate on me. LOL. Banquet cooking bags. I love the chicken a licking. I cannot find anything that comes close to the sliced beef the sell the Salisbury steak and turkey slices in family sized portions. They really need to bring those back. Glass bottles. I don't know why today we still put every drink in a plastic bottle with all the talk about climate change. They're really heavy so the shipping is worse. Clearly Canadian, and it looks like they brought it back. But nowhere near me. El Chirito Enchilada TV dinners. Tato skin chips by Keebler. Border breakfasts refrigerated breakfast tacos. Taco Bell taco salad. Seven layer burrito and Mexican. Pizza. I've definitely had clearly Canadian. If you ever end up near Rovmeyer, they carry it. I made my nieces try it. And they thought it was gross. But it was as delicious as I remember. Canfield's chocolate soda. I drank it at my grandma's house when I was a kid and I think if I had some right now I'd weep at the memories it would invoke. McDonald's chicken fajitas. If you know you know. Tangerine Altoids. I used to eat them all the time when I was a teen. Tore my mouth up to hell. But I love those things. McDonald's fries used to taste so much better. Caramel apple empanada from Taco Bell. The watermelon taffy with the candy seeds. Fun fatty icing. Now they have one that you add sprinkles on. But it's not made into the frosting like it uses to be. Root beer popsicles. 
I am so sad and so hungry reading this thread. Oreo Cookesters. They are the reason I failed Weight Watchers. No regrets. Flintstones Push Pops. I hear Nettle Push Up Pops taste the same but I don't think these are sold in Canada. Mountain Dew Code Red in Canada. Apparently it wasn't selling well in bottles or cans so they got rid of it and as far as I know, don't plan to bring it back in those forms. Ironically though I did find some from a soda dispenser at a gas station not too long ago. So I guess it never really went away. Still kinda upsetting though. We still have them in the US. Is there some way you could order them internationally? The bubble gum that came in the band-aid box, distraught face with tightly closed eyes, distraught face with tightly closed eyes, distraught face with tightly closed eyes. Ouch. Haven't seen that in many years. Also tongue splashes I think it was called. They came in a little paint can. That was some really good gum. The McDonald's french fries that were cooked in beef fat. Salty. Greasy explosions of perfection in your mouth. Swoops. Cine minis from Burger King they were smaller cinnamon rolls you dunked in a cup of icing, drooling face. McDonald's steak egg and cheese bagel. Caramel apple empanada said taco hell. I haven't gone back since they left the menu. Shredded chicken quesaretto. Taco Bell rid of one of the best things in their menu. And now don't even sell anything with shredded chicken. Scooby Snacks. Both the cookies and fruit snacks at my elementary school's after school program we'd always get a snack first thing, for obvious reasons, and there was always excitement over the Scooby Snacks. Now the fruit snacks are long gone. Jello Pudding Pops and Mixhooker Salads from McDonald's. High C Ecto Cooler. I preferred it when McDonald's fried their pies. Also cherry was the better one. Can't remember what they're called but they're little tablets in the shape of bottle caps. You put them in soda water and they dissolved and you had soda. They were around in the mid 90s is all else I remember. Old school marathon bars. Braided caramel covered in chocolate. Bubble jug. Vanilla coke. I see it sometimes though. Kimmy would say Frosted Cheerios. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal from the early 2000s. It had a softer texture and tasted better. The cereal now is like dry cardboard. The original moon pie recipe, or at least the one that wasn't dry as fuck. I swear there was one that wasn't. Those Mickey Mouse ice cream treats where the ears were dipped in chocolate and the face was the white vanilla goodness. Costco polished dogs. Their hot dogs are fine. Yet can't even hold a candle to the polished dogs that once were. Two things. One. The old style McDonald's cherry pie. It really was an impanada. Fucking health nuts in the 80s killed them. Two. Cadbury Danish candy bar. Like a sweet Marie. But with a white candy coating that had cinnamon in it. No chocolate. I really miss those. They were the best. Double salt and vinegar chips. The chips right now are too weak. I want to feel my mouth peeling as I eat them. Taco Bell Fruitista freezes. Their normal slushies now are nowhere near as good. Amazon Fruit Gummy Bears. I used to beg my parents for these in the grocery store checkout aisles. There's never been a gummy bear to compare to these. Clearly Canadian or whatever those clear fruit flavored sodas were called. Definitely had clear and Canada in the name. Shaved Prime Ribbit Culvers. It was the only good French dip in my town. Lime Skittles. Glass bottle soap drinks. The glass made it better. Whatever happened to the pizza at McDonald's? Rolled gold honey mustard pretzels. I'd literally kill for those fuckers. Tahiti treat. The peanut butter Twix with a chocolate cookie. Kellogg's cereal straws. RC Cola Draft. Came in glass bottles and sold in six packs or a case. Real sugar. Had a slight chocolatey taste. Amazing. Made the best rum and cokes. Stopped selling it in the US, 1990s, because parent groups said it looked too much like a beer bottle. Randomly. I found some in New Zealand, shipped from Australia in 2014 and nearly lost my mind. The guy running the bodega was confused when I cleared out his stock. Haven't found it since.